All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here now. You guys have seen my 36 gallon saltwater aquarium right here. There's five fish in there and you watched me add all five fish to this aquarium. However, the whole point of setting up this aquarium was for one fish. I had one fish in mind. And now that one fish that I want is illegal. It's been banned. No place can get it in because it's been banned. Yes. However, after a lot and a lot of painstaking research, I finally found one store an hour and a half away from me that has one in stock, has one left, and that's the one we're gonna go get. So you don't know what fish this is yet. We'll keep it a little mysterious for now, but of course you'll end up seeing it very, very soon. So this fish was banned from collection. So the place where this saltwater fish was taken from the wild is no longer open for fishing basically. So this fish is incredibly difficult to get right now. The price has skyrocketed over the past few months and it is a super, super hard fish to get a hold of right now. Like it's crazy how difficult this fish is. This fish used to be super common in the hobby and I was literally banned from being collected. <sighs> it's gonna be a struggle. But I found out of all places, I found it at a pet co which is good because saltwater fish don't move super fast through a pet co. So this one has been there for a little bit which is good, it's one of the last ones that will probably be seen in my general area for a long, long time because as I mentioned, these fish are no longer coming into fish stores. So kind of what's available is the fish that are already in the stores right now. So no more will be coming in. So I need to get on this before it's too late. But before we head out, just a quick update. I cleaned the canister filter yesterday, cleaned the tank, the tank is all ready to go for our new fish. So without further ado, I think it's time for our road trip. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, it has been an hour and 30 minutes. I'm right about to pull into the Petco parking lot. I'll go ahead and see you inside. We'll check out the marine section and hopefully find some good fish. <laughs> so I'll see you guys as soon as we get inside. So it looks like we have a pretty typical Petco setup going on. This Petco actually had two saltwater racks. So basic little clownfish. There's a cool coral beauty angelfish. I actually like those guys a lot. There was a huge blue tang. We'll see that guy in a little bit. And then there was these two larger systems, which just had your basic dotty backs, clownfish. And then down at the bottom, there were some variations of clownfish, like the Kalarki clowns, the premium clowns, stuff like that. Here is that awesome blue tang. He was very skittish, but he was massive, like five, six inches. He was super cool. And then I did notice that this place had tons of Aptasia. Um, they said that they weren't able to get in the Aptasia X that Petco normally provides. They just weren't able to get it in the past few months, so their tanks are covered in Aptasia. They also had some little turtles. My Petco doesn't have turtles currently, uh, so I thought that was cool to check those guys out. But they did have the saltwater fish I wanted. We went ahead and got him bagged up, and without further ado, here he is. A few moments later. Okay, I'm not sure what we're doing with this little shadow, but I think it's time I show you the fish. So it's a lot bigger than I expected, but it will still be good in the 36 gallon tank until it's a little bit bigger to go in the 120. But here is my new yellow tank. They actually did a length of stay discount for 25% off, which is good considering these tangs are basically impossible to get a hold of right now. So I got them for a great price, happy to have them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check out another reef store that's right around here, maybe show you guys a little bit of that, and then we'll get home as fast as we can to go ahead and acclimate this guy into his tank. So he was in one of their larger aquarium tanks, which is good, but he had been there for a long time, like three, four, five months, they were saying. But he's finally sold, he's going to a good home, and he's gonna live a long and happy life, both in the 36 gallon temporary tank and in the 120 gallon tank. And whatever tank upgrades, we decide to go from there. He is super fat, which is something good because sometimes yellow tangs are skinny and just unhealthy, but this guy's super fat and that means he's gonna do really good. He was eating seaweed in the store. I know they were taking good care of him, so I'm super happy to have this guy. But I'll catch you in a little bit when we're at that other reef store. A few moments later. So this store is awesome. They do fresh water and salt water, but today we're gonna focus really on the salt water stuff. Some of my favorite fish, there was a blue tang right there, a fox face, I love fox faces. There was a bicolor fox face. Here's a cute little yellow tang, but as you can see, he's $120. So they did have yellows, they're just crazy expensive. Um, basic fish here, another yellow tang. And there's that awesome Potter's Angel. I love that angel fish. This yellow tang was also 120, super expensive. A flame angel, sailfin tang, and powder brown tang, awesome. As you can see, there's just so many saltwater fish here. Their tanks were literally packed today so many like it was crazy i love the flame angel they had a super cool naso tang here's a raccoon butterfly 
Those guys are awesome, but they do eat coral, which is unfortunate. Prices are very expensive today. Here is that Potter's Angel. I would love one of these fish, but unfortunately they're not always reef safe. A cool trigger fish, same thing, not reef safe. And then we have another blue tang, Royal Grandma, a little puffer fish, um, some Antheus, another sailfin tang, another yellow tang, a cool box fish. I love box fish, they're dope. And then moving on to their inverts, a chocolate chip starfish. Those guys are super cool. Tons of coral, tons of urchins, tons of shrimp. Really, there's just so much stuff here. It's hard to even, you know, film all of it. Another little blonde naso tang, marine beta. Um, what else do we have here? Some clowns, some damsels, uh, some cardinals. Love cardinals. There's some purple firefish there. And here are more of the inverts and some of the other clownfish. They have like 50 different variations of clownfish, I swear. Like there's so many of them. It's literally crazy. And then they also had tons and tons of coral. But I wasn't really shopping for coral or freshwater stuff today. So we didn't pay much attention there. So I didn't find anything I loved in there. Salt water. I did get something freshwater. You'll see that in the next video. I'm sorry about this horrible lighting, by the way. It's horrible. So I'll just see you at home. This is a mess. <laughs> One eternity later. An hour and a half later, here is our yellow tang, all ready to go in his aquarium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start acclimating him, and then we'll talk about him a little bit more. So I'll catch you guys inside. Okay, right behind us, our yellow tang is acclimating in this 36 gallon aquarium. But let's talk about a little bit of what I saw today. I guess the first thing would be, it turns out that yellow tangs aren't quite as illegal or unavailable as I thought. That one fish store I went to had a ton of yellow tangs. However, they were crazy expensive. This guy is the biggest and healthiest tang I saw all day. And like I mentioned, I was able to get it for 60 bucks. While the other ones about that same size were 120. So I'm very happy with my yellow tang purchase. He's very stressed out. So he's acclimating right now just for temperature. And then I'm going to use my Hannah salinity checker to check the salinity in his bag versus the tank. And that will also check the temperature. And that will tell me if we need to drip acclimate him or if he's good to just go straight in the tank. As for the other reef store, when you saw the little tour of it, there was a whole bunch of cool saltwater fish. That's honestly probably the most saltwater fish I've ever seen there. Their tanks were just packed full and most of them looked healthy. Some of them didn't, that just is what it is. That store has so much freshwater stuff too. You guys didn't even see, but there will be a video coming soon on the new freshwater fish we got at that store. That guy's a pretty big deal. You'll understand why he's so important in a few videos from now or maybe even the next video you'll see but regardless it's time to check on our tang right here so what i'm gonna do is just take this hannah salinity checker right here and you can't really see the screen but it's gonna test our tang's water right here and it's gonna tell us the temperature and the salinity so temperature is 76.7 which is on par with the tank but the salinity is unfortunately a little bit low this is 1.022 and our tank is 1.025 so I'll go ahead and just dump some of his water out and dump some of the tank water in his bag for a few minutes. I'll save you the boring part, but I'll just be back when we're ready to introduce our new yellow tang right there into this aquarium. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so the tang is done acclimating and the fact I have my camera literally on the side of the tank is concerning. Hopefully it doesn't fall in. But here is the last look on our yellow tang in the bag before he's in his new aquarium that is so much cleaner and he's gonna be a lot happier here than he was at Petco. And he was thriving at Petco, so I know he's just gonna thrive, hopefully from here. Oh, he is feisty in that net. Okay, come on, get in the tank. So he is in the tank. He is a beautiful, beautiful yellow color. He is literally perfect. He's super stressed out right now because he was in a bag for like two hours and just got dumped in here with minimal acclimation just because I didn't want the ammonia that built up in the bag to harm him. So he's gonna go ahead and get used to his surroundings. I'll let him cool off and de-stress. The firefish, the royal grandma, the little fairy wrasse, and the puffer fish in here are pretty docile. So these guys will not be bothering our new tang at all, which is really good. He's the biggest fish in here. But like I mentioned, he just needs a little bit of time to calm down. So I'm gonna give him just that and we'll check back in on him and probably feed him tomorrow morning. Just like that, it is the next day and here is our yellow tang. He's still extremely skittish as you can see. He is very scared of any movement in the room. He'll go ahead and dart behind the rocks. But most saltwater fish are in the beginning. Even my two firefish I have had for like two weeks, they're still very skittish. So I expect this guy to kind of just chill out, get used to his surroundings over the next couple weeks, and then he'll be out swimming around a little bit more. He was out swimming around earlier, but as you can see, he is just super, super skittish. So hopefully he'll just warm up to his surroundings very soon. So that is going to be just about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on the journey of getting our new yellow tang wherever he's hiding. And I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some of the other fish stores around that area. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good.
Bye.